Tragedy keeps striking the city of Detroit when it comes to children and firearms. In one month, at least four children have been shot in the city of Detroit and three have died. In many cases, it's the result of minors messing around with guns. 7 Action News reporter Kiara Hay goes in depth on the consequences parents face if their child harms someone with an unsecured weapon. It's a conversation Detroit city leaders seem to have every month. Parents, lock away your guns and make sure they do not get in the hands of your children. But still, the number of children being shot at the hands of other minors continue to pile. So what, if any consequences, do parents face for not properly securing their firearm? You can tell by the smile. Sanaya Pugh was full of life. Sanaya was my baby, my best friend. Everything. But her life was cut tragically short 20 days before her 12th birthday when a stray bullet went through her grandmother's home and struck her in the back last month. Every day I wake up, I feel like I'm being tortured. Detroit police charged two people, one minor and one adult in connection to the killing, claiming they were messing around with a gun. Since Anaya's death, at least three more children have accidentally been shot by another minor in Detroit. Two fatally. Get these parents because there's no way that your kid is getting to a gun. But according to attorney Amir Maklid, it's not that easy. In your career, how often have you seen a parent charged criminally for their child gaining access to their gun? Never. I've never seen that in my career. Maklid says right now there are no laws on the books in Michigan that hold parents accountable for not properly storing their guns. So oftentimes the most parents will be charged with is child endangerment or child abuse and CPS will get involved. But he's hopeful that will change. More recently, county prosecutors have been attempting to uh, bring um, the parents and hold them accountable for the negligence and how they store their firearms. An example, the Crumleys, now on trial for their son killing multiple people at Oxford High School. Gun access safety laws were also introduced in Lansing last year that would force anyone with minors in the home to have their guns properly stored with a gun safety lock. Pew says she wants change so no one else has to endure the pain she's living with every day. Parents, y'all gotta do better. Detroit, we got to do better. In Detroit, Kiara Hay. It's, it's too much. It's too much. 7 Action News.